And thank you for joining us tonight for what is obviously the best summer parade in all of Minnesota. Many local businesses, organizations, clowns, sport groups, all kinds of others, musical groups will get this train moving. Looks like we're about to start here. Let's do it. But first, representatives including local veterans from the American Legion and VFW are here presenting our nation's colors. Everyone, please stand as they pass. The White Bear Lake American Legion Post 168 Auxiliary and the Sons of the Legion are uh, part of our White Bear Lake family and very active here. The White Bear Lake VFW and Auxiliary uh, work to support our veterans and our community. Now they of course have that beautiful club over on the lake on White Bear Lake. Stop in, it's newly remodeled. The bar and restaurant is a great place uh, to spend an evening and look at the lake. And today the VFW Post and Auxiliary are joined by the Patriotic Heritage Allegiant Honor Guard. And here comes our Grand Marshal of the 2018 Manitou Days Parade, Bill Fussard. We'd like to welcome you all to Manitou Days. And Fussard is the owner of the White Bear Country Inn, well known for his annual dinner with Santa event and involvement in many aspects of the community, including the local Rotary Club, Green Greeter White Bear Lake, Community Foundation, Explore White Bear Lake. He also helps organizations manage their day and Market Fest. There's so much to say about Bill Poussard. Wherever two or more White Bear Lakeians are gathered together, ah! Bill Poussard is there. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Always a subtle, understated presence here. And here we have uh, some fire department uh, personnel all dressed in their flaming outfits as we have it here in a classic, classic fire truck. Love those red fire trucks. Yes. There's nothing like it. Here comes some more here. This is the New Germany Fire Department. You know, I saw them pulling up here about an hour and a half ago. They're coming from all over um, to help us all celebrate. We appreciate these men and women and what they do for us in time of need. And it's great to see them all here with obviously friends and family and children and they're all aboard. What a thrill for these kids to be riding on a fire truck. <laughs> that is, uh, is a great joy um, in that. Got a relatively modern one here. It's got some of the classic 19, oh, 2009 Vulcan crew and royal family are there along with uh, a bunch of the young people with never a dull moment on the fire truck. Very good. Now here we have an interesting band. And these talented musicians are all self-taught. Literally, they have spent minutes and minutes of practice that went into this performance. Please welcome the White Bear Lake Lions Club Precision Marching Kazoo Band. <laughs> We've got to listen to this. That was a lot of build-up, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. It was. <laughs> Choreography by Busby Berkeley. <laughs> There's a reference for the uh, older people in the crowd. And we also have the uh, White Bear Lions uh, Club. Uh, and has some people riding along for those who didn't want to do the marching. <laughs> <laughs> they got a good thing going there. A lovely lounge chair in the back. Yeah. In fact, I think this might be. Now you would know. Mm -hmm. Is it? You know, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not sure who all we have Is here. Is on there? Okay. Oh, looks like that's that's their candy supplier. <laughs> that's who we have there. All right. And she's doing a great job of doing that, and yes. Now we get, oh, here's the infamous White Bear Lake. City uh, Council. City Council members are all here. Quite the group. Hi, Doug, how you doing? Mayor oh. Joe Emerson. There's Steve. I got it. And there's, oh, Dean got everybody here. Now, they have yet to let the big horns really come out. I wonder yeah. if they're not going to do it this time. But usually at this point in the parade, JP, we do not say a word no. because nobody would hear us anyway. Right. And we can barely hear ourselves. But right now, they look like they're just being very calm and just displaying their beautiful rigs yep. that are here to help us in time of need. And boy, when you see these trucks roll up and you need them, you just want to kiss every member. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And we appreciate them so. Thank you guys for being with us today and for being a part of our lives. And we'll start the Kiss a Firefighter Day program <laughs> very soon here. You I like that? <laughs> I, I like that. I noticed the city council, the fire department put them in a truck 
that was uh, from either the Hoover or Franklin Roosevelt administration. And then all the new ones come later, so I'm not sure if that's a reflection on what it took to get the budget out of the city council for these, <laughs> or, or just our city council and mayor are classics. So. My goodness, this goes on and on forever, and I hope you're enjoying this, the beauty of all of these rigs here, and the money involved in all these rigs. And it's money well spent when yes. you're the one who needs them. Uh, oh. your tax, this approves your tax dollars at work. You are, getting, you are getting something on your investment. And of course, a fire truck and fire talk would not be complete without Smokey the Bear. Of course. And here is Smokey even in our parade here in White Bear Lake. Manitou Day's parade. Mm. Well, the whole point is prevention, as yes. Smokey's been teaching, is a lot better than uh, dealing with the crisis after the fact. So we do appreciate the messagery, the message and imagery that comes with it. And of course, they're handing out candy. Well, of course, see that. Uh, you know, and when you come to this parade, you really need to bring a bag. Yeah. Because <laughs> pockets aren't enough. So much <laughs> sweet treats are being handed out. Mm -hmm. It's delightful. And you know, that's what memories are made of. Oh, the yeah. kids come down here, and they know not only is it going to be uh, feast for the eyes, but feast for their tummy as well. Well, the simple pleasures of life are the best. There and you go. This is going on and on, my friends. I'm looking around the corner even, and now we've gone through all the red equipment, mm -hmm. and the yellows are torn showing up. Do you know, is there a difference in the color? Um, yeah, there was a move for yellow about 20 years ago as an alternative, and um, a number of departments uh, started going that way. Most I've noticed have gone back to red, uh, but it just, it had to do with visibility in traffic areas. and. The problem with, the, the challenge with that is different parts of the country have a different environment. If you're in the desert, what blends in versus stands out is very different than yeah. a snowstorm, is very different than an evergreen area, so. We would never want white fire no. trucks. But red and yellow both reflect fire, so they do sit very <laughs> well in that. That's well said. Yeah. I heard once that red evokes emotion. And um, that's maybe why sometimes they were considering a different color oh. so that people wouldn't panic as much when they saw them. But then they figured it was worth it to have it because they needed people to get out of the way. There right? is. It could be. And, mm -hmm. um, and it does evoke emotion. There's no oh, doubt about it. Oh, yeah. And of course, if you're needed of them, you definitely have emotion when they come to your home. No one has ever calmly spoken to a firefighter out in front of the house that's on fire. So... <laughs> But this is a lot of very modern equipment here in various types. You notice how much of it is uh, related to the broader public safety concept, especially um, emergency medical. Yes. Um, the number of actual fires have gone down so much due to prevention and building codes and you know regulation requiring alarms that the amount of destruction is less, yet the way they have scooped into an area in our healthcare system to do the emergency healthcare has shown a true healthy evolution over the last three or four decades of what is the definition of the purpose of emergency services from your fire department. Now I'm going to put you on the spot, JP. You're mm -hmm. very involved in the city here. Mm -hmm. How many are volunteer? I mean, do you know the proportion of volunteers versus paid firefighters? I do not know in White Bear Lake. I know White Bear Lake and Maplewood have, uh, have been making a lot of changes in that over time. Uh, but I'm afraid I'm not, uh, I'm not an expert, but whether uh, they're on-call or full-time professionals, I admire them and want yeah, them there. Yeah. The volunteers always should be paid, as far oh, as I'm concerned. Yes. <laughs> now, you notice we get Hugo, we've had uh, New Germany, uh, we've had Stillwater. The whole point is this shows the camaraderie of firefighters. Um, you are in Here it together. You Johanna. back each other up. Yeah, see Lake Johanna. Mm -hmm. You back each other up. Now, the only thing during this parade every year that I worry about is this would be the worst evening of the year to actually have a fire <laughs> because the equipment would all have to come from this parade. Unless and the fire was downtown White right. Bear Lake, right? It, it yeah. would be convenient. Yeah. But. I'm sure there are other <laughs> rigs back at their firehouse that could take care of the need in that community. But that's an interesting thought that you bring up. You know, okay, I'm so Lake, and here we have uh, Badness Heights again. Lake Joanna just by, passed by us. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't even been noticing that they're from different communities. Oh, yes. Now, I'm sure then they go to all the other community mm. parades as well. Oh, yes. Again, it's um, the brothers and sisters of the firefighters. Uh, we're all in this together. And I'm beginning to see the end of the big rigs. Yes, it is. So now feel free to have your fire. They have done with this part of the parade. <laughs> uh, Okay. Not that I'm encouraging I it. I was just <laughs> going to say. And here we have Mito Mita Fire. I'm just going to get the last name. Yes. And, and then North St. Paul is up, the final one here. Yeah. 
You notice the old uh, the old ladders are, are are here, and that always is the thing that's most fun. And I gotta say, when my granddaughter turned three, her toy fire truck with that ladder, she had her dolls climbing up <laughs> everything in our family room on her toy fire truck. Uh, Children love oh fire yes. trucks. Oh yes, that's for She's, sure. That's yes. a wonderful event to take them to the fire station. Right. And it looks like we have, oh, look at this. We have our big volunteers of the year for White Bear events, Carol and Lynn Farley. Now this year, the uh, Grand Parade is different for Lynn and Carol because instead of driving a parade unit, they will be riding as White Bear Events 2018 Volunteers of the Year. Uh, congratulations. They're a husband and wife tag team in all of their activities. The Farleys are everywhere doing so much to benefit our community and volunteer with many local organizations, including the White Bear Food Shelf and the White Bear Lake Lions Club. Now, Carol uh, was volunteering in the food shelf daily alongside Lynn, stocking shelves, helping clients. She's served as vice chair, chair, treasurer, currently board secretary. If there's a job they need done, Carol and Lynn are there. The Farleys say they are proud to live in White Bear Lake and to serve the community. And we want to congratulate Lynn and Carol Farley, 2018 Volunteers of the Year. And here we have Ashley Moeller. She is the winner of the button contest. Congratulations to Ash Ashley Moeller. And um, it was the design that she came up with on the White Bear Parade button this year. She's a sixth grader at Prasadi Catholic Academy and wanted her button design to have a historical element and was inspired by the iconic train car she often sees on the corner of 61 and 4th Street. We know that one. Yes. A Ashley is here tonight with her family passing out the Manitou Day buttons. But you can barely hear me because... We have the White Bear Lake High School drum line there you playing go. here today. Since 2006, they represent White Bear Lake at local parades at State Fair and they've even been to Super Bowl events. Let's sit back and Woo! listen to the White Bear Lake High School drumline. And we have some drumline in training coming along, it looks like there. Oh, that's what that would <laughs> that be. That must be that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, Insp inspiring the youth for the next uh, generation of drumliners. And here we have one of our sponsor, parade sponsors, and that's Garlic French Roofing. Yes. Garlic French has been roofing in the metro area for over 85 years. With high quality workmanship and products, years of experience, specialized services, and a commitment to every customer, they're ready to help with your roofing, chimney, or store restoration needs. And may I say hello to them because they did our roof. Well, they did. <laughs> All right. A personal endorsement a from personal a satisfied customer. <laughs> a satisfied customer. In fact, we look like that, that little guy on the roof there. We're so Snoopy. pleased. Yes, yes. so happy. <laughs> Well, very good. Quick 85 years of cover covering, covering our people in White Bear Lake. And then we have the White Bear Lake Area School Student Writing Contest uh, and the All Aboard Bears Student Writing Contest. Join us today. Congratulations to our young authors of that. I see they're, they're out, out there. And here we have uh, coming up, Elevated Beer, Wine, and Spirits. They're elevated, I love that. They're in the mm. North Metro Craft Beer Destination, a neighborhood full service liquor store featuring the best selection, great value, and awesome service. Stop in to check out the elevated difference. Find them online at elevatebws.com. And right after the elevated uh, beer and wine group here in a fine local business, we have the famous barely open golf on ice event sponsors. Yes, each year in February on the frozen shores of White Bear Lake, they've oh, set up, and I've seen this, it's truly amazing, an 18-hole golf course on ice. Although it's not really golf, they kind of invented a new game. It has pine trees, it has a hospitality tent, which you really need in winter, um, food, entertainment, and they raise money for the local food shelf at the barely open, so the middle of winter, come on out. 
It's all aboard bears, and you're going to hear bear talked about a lot here at the White Bear Lake Parade. Here's Bear Roofing and Exteriors. It's a local company that is well established in the Twin Cities and surrounding area. It has a great reputation for quality craftsmanship and customer service. They say they're big enough to handle any job, yet small enough to care. And one of our fine sponsors, and we always appreciate that and admire it, especially when they put the name Bear in their <laughs> name. Absolutely. And when in question, and when in doubt what to call it, and you live in White Bear well, Lake, yeah. It's wonderful. Put white or bear in there, right? Well, my granddaughter has two stuffed bears named Barry, Fat Barry and Skinny Barry. <laughs> so we now go on to other fat and skinny things like the St. Paul Clown <laughs> Club. Uh, formed in 1946, it is the oldest operating clown club in the United States. The club participates in parades, community events throughout Minnesota. It shares smiles and laughs, which is something we always need and always need more of. Such a subtle, understated uh, uh, look. Truck, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. I, I like a polka dot truck. That is yeah. great. Here comes a band. Oh, and we have, yes, the... Um, the United Marching Band. Yes, we, um, the uh, United Marching Band includes 8th to 12th grade students from all of the District 662's six, six, six middle and high schools united in one marching band under the direction of Tony Tian, Lori ben Bernstrom, John Pol Polvoni, and Aaron Hammerman. I'm glad you had that one. Yes, and let the, <laughs> let's listen to how they all are united from all the schools in one big band. Oh, I where see. they are to be this summer for their performances. <laughs> so they can read the back of their shirt if they're lost on the way. Right. There you go. Here we had Midwest One Bank. And they invite you to stop in to the Midwest One Bank and experience the unique brand of personal friendly service provided by bankers who genuinely care about you and your banking needs. Midwest One is making banking easier and more convenient because taking care of you is their number one priority. Learn more about Midwest One at Midwest westone.com. <laughs> they didn't say they'd make it easy when they took no, out all those spaces and always, between the words. I'm trying to see if they're hanging out money is what I would, but they never well, do. Never do. No, no. The free samples are <laughs> limited in some businesses. Well, we have a truck and Skittles coming up, but now we're just waiting to see Oh, I it's bet right I know who that there, is. Heating it's and cooling, right? right? They exactly. They have such a small sign. They're so understated and elegant. Today we could use the cooling, <laughs> folks, okay? <laughs> Family owned and operated for three generations, serving the community for 43 years. You know, it's always amazing the number of local businesses that day after day, week after week, are there to help take care of our needs to build the strength of this community. Amen. So we really appreciate it. And then they even go further and help sponsor the parade. And I love the little one that's following there. Oh, yes. Whoa. Can you imagine the oh. memories from this experience that they're going to have to actually drive their own little car? Oh, Lord, what I would have done at that age for that opportunity. Of course, in my day, it would have been a Studebaker. So now, <laughs> speaking of young ones and classics, that's a Chevy. I recognize that coming up there. I think it's a 51, if I remember correctly. <laughs> we have the Cub Scout Pack and Boy Scouts Troop 434. The Boy Scouts of America aims to prepare every girl and boy, yes, it's girl and boy now, yes. ages 6 to 17 in America, to become responsible, participating citizens and leaders guided by the Scout Oath and the law. Whenever we have a flag that we want to dispose of, we put it in a brown paper bag, roll it up, and give it to them to dispose of it in a, in a proper fashion, in yeah. a dignified way. The Boy Scouts of America, and like you say, Boy and Girl Scouts of America, yeah. we appreciate them so very much. And they're giving us cold things to eat. Well, that'll be very handy here. Yes. I do appreciate that. <laughs> By the time I we're done, that might be melted. Yeah, but good. nevertheless, I'm going to put it on my neck well, just to stay a little cooler. <laughs> and now we're moving away from that classic Chevrolet from uh, the middle of the last century to a much more modern car. And I what love, do we have here? I love you giving a description of all the vehicles well, here. Well, come on. we got to move now from White Louis Chevrolet to Walter Chrysler. Now you know their first names. White Bear Lake Educational Foundation. Is this right? Yes, yes that's correct. Yes, that's who's it. <laughs> that, they're in the Chrysler. Walter okay. P. Chrysler. 
Chrysler. They yes. support education in White Bear Lake area schools <laughs> through awarding classroom teaching grants, professional development fellowships for teachers, classroom art grants, bear grants, the student scholarships. The foundation also supports district curriculum <laughs> initiatives, and they just go on and on with the wonderful things that the White Bear Lake Area Educational Foundation is doing for our community. And you can see they even have signs with some of the things, their angel fund, the grants, the teaching fellowships. I remember when they formed, probably what, 25 years ago now? <laughs> this year, the anniversary, yes. And I remember when they were formed and people in the community stepping in to go a step beyond just being uh, responsible citizens and taxpayers to truly putting their time and effort and resources into aiding our schools to make them not just great, but the best. That's great. It's good to have that background. Yes. It's a, it's a great thing and then to have a community that keeps supporting it, it very impressive. And you can see the, uh, the kids understand it's the multi-generational. The community is strong through its uh, public education system and private education system working together. And they have a, the foundation's 2018 fundraising efforts include its upcoming 19th annual golf tournament that will take place June 25th and it's October 12th fall fundraisers. So keep an eye open for those events that will help support all these activities. That's great, and then we move on to another local business. This one just kind of a recent transition. Polar Chevrolet Mazda has now joined the Walzer family, and here come the folks from there. Change is happening since uh, since they've uh, our fine local business has joined up with the Walzer Group, and they've uh, got that beautiful new building going up across the street from the famous building, home of the famous White Bear, so they can have their Chevrolet dealers and Mazda dealers each have a good home for themselves. Um, um, it's been 38 years that Polar Chevrolet has been located here, and uh, the big polar bear will remain. It's not going anywhere. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. And it's uh, and there we even have it uh, showing off the uh, the mobile cousin of the stationary bear <laughs> is uh, is there in the uh, Mazda Miata, and. Um, just wanted to let you know that, uh, of course, being part of the Walzer Group means there are 25 Walzer stores across the metro for thousands of new and used vehicles uh, that they can help you locate if they don't happen to have it right here at the White Bear Lake location. I haven't noticed recently, but on, on special occasions, do they put clothing on that bear still? Well, I've, I haven't noticed recently that anybody's climbed up there in winter to repaint the clothing, but I always <laughs> did appreciate the summer, uh, the summer bathing suits they would paint on the bear. Okay, and here we have the White Bear Dance Center. White Bear Dance Center is a recreational and competitive dance studio for dancers 18 months through adults. They offer classes in tap, jazz, musical theater, ballet, hip hop, and acro. Their record-breaking competitive company just completed another outstanding season, winning high points awards, custom awards, performance awards, choreography awards in all age divisions. Good luck to the entire company that will be competing at the Nationals this summer. Now, they're currently planning their next trip to Walt Disney World in Florida, where they're going to be performing a 25-minute show. So check out all of their summer offerings, fall registration, and information on WBDC Disney Experience 2019 at their website. How exciting to go it to is. Disneyland. Can you imagine? To Disney World, I yeah, should say. Disney yes. World, yeah. Well, let's uh, just watch this energy unfold here. This is pretty amazing. Look at the move. And they say they start at 18 months. Yeah, 18 wow. months. <laughs> I wouldn't be afraid to go because an 18-month-old will outshine me. Is well, the problem. <laughs> I would say we have to accept the fact that an 18-month-old is more limber than that's true. most human beings. So <laughs> and, and less inhibited. And that's, that's the wonder of what you need to truly appreciate this. Uh, I love the, it. The mind is as important as the, uh, as the body here. Good. So and here we have uh, Premier Bank, is your full service local bank. Premier has building is build has been building businesses, serving our community, and giving back for over 40 years. You know that's what has impressed me, JP, is mm -hmm. how many years many of these businesses have been here and serving this community. Yes, it's not a. This is a place you dig in your roots pretty deep. Oh, there's Doug driving, of course. He's uh, the face of Premier Bank. That's. <laughs> He should have it on the side of his truck. Yes, the face of Premier Bank. 
I'm sure they have other faces too, but <laughs> we're there. And then, of course, we have the wonderful and near, dear to my heart Children Performing Arts Center. This is now located in the beautiful new Hannaful Performing Arts oh, Center. It's beautiful. That is the home of, uh, of Lakeshore Players, longtime community theater here, and this wonderful uh, Children Performing Arts group. Uh, they empower youth to thrive on life stage, they produce plays, they offer classes year round. Um, give it a shot, give, give a call. You have a child of any age, uh, it's amazing what they can release within themselves at Children Performing Arts at the new Hannaful Performing Arts Center on Highway 61, also home to Lakeshore Players Community Theater. Beautiful building, beautiful building. Well, here we have the hair bar, and if you'll notice, <laughs> I love the hair in our drivers here. <laughs> The, the hair bar for all your hair needs. 20 years in the business. Located in between Good Things and Chico's. They have a back entrance and they say, come and see us. And you can see them anywhere as they have their hairstyles there. I assume they will offer more traditional options too, <laughs> aside, aside from what they I know, are that showing. that multicolor is looking pretty appealing to you me know, there. The point is, <laughs> They'll have more ideas than you on possibilities, so that's what's great. And next, we have the, oh, of course, the Medicine Chess Pharmacy and Polar Bear Store. Now, of course, Medicine Chess Pharmacy, right in downtown White Bear Lake, been in continuous operation since 1930, and open a business as the depression starts and have it be a success for almost a century is amazing. But it also is a retail business, and the reason it's called the Polar Bear Store is because they are serving this community not just with top-notch service and patient care, but they also have a sample there of the concrete statues that can be purchased at the store. The Medicine Chest carries this wide variety of White Bear Lake merchandise, including apparel, souvenirs, gifts. Stop by sometime, experience customer service, set them apart. So both for your health care needs and to proudly display your bear in your yard as a White Bear Lakeian. Since 1930. See what I'm talking about? Yes. So very long. Here's Magnuson Christian School. It's a private, faith-based school providing a quality education from kindergarten through eighth grade. At Magnuson Christian School, we believe that if we can provide children with a biblical viewpoint from which they can approach their lives, we're giving them a firm foundation on which they can build the rest of their lives. Magnuson Christian School is committed to small class sizes, affordable tuition, loving teachers, and involved parents. We encourage all students to reach their full potential through academic rigor, hands-on learning, and faith character. That's Magnuson Christian School. And now we have the Senate District 38 Republican Party. That's um, the local volunteers in the Republican Party for the area that's White Bear Township, Delwood, North Oaks, Circle Pines, Centerville, Lexington, Hugo, Lino Lakes, and parts of Blaine and parts of White Bear Lake. It is run entirely by citizen volunteers. It's the great thing about political parties in Minnesota. You just show up and you are part of the political process. <laughs> They've got, um, it's, not, it's, not an, it's not a top-down thing. You just show up and you're an insider if you walk inside on caucus night. So here you have <laughs> their various candidates. they got two U.S. Senate candidates, uh, Housley and Newberger. We've got... Um, a uh, number of others running. We've got Yang for House, Wardlow, Attorney General. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I catch all the signs here. Uh, Anderson, State House. Um, Jeff Johnson for Governor. I've got Wardlow. I've got, I think I've tried to cover most of them here. If I see any more signs, I'll yell them out. They now, didn't give me the list here, but and, I've, and I can read in front of me, so I got them here. <laughs> you did well. You did yes. well. So I've got, I, I've not, I got, I've got both. Uh, and, oh, and Greg Ryan <laughs> is the one I missed for U.S. Congress. Got it. I thought there was one I'd missed. They okay. were listening to you closely, yep. yes. Well, everybody keeps pointing at their sign because, of course, they didn't hear me do it, and that's fine. I appreciate it. And they got even more uh, more on the unit here. Um, this uh, is good. This I've is covered. well organized. Yep. I like the, I yep. like all the signs. and yep. um, I'd like to know if the person holding the sign is that name, but I um, think they have others because they, the, they'd be cloning themselves <laughs> out here, wouldn't they? <laughs> it, pol politics in Minnesota is based on volunteers and people willing to put themselves out with their candidates. Yeah. So, oh, absolutely. As you can see. And, and this year we do have a very active year because we have both U.S. Senate seats on the ballot because of the special election for the remaining two years of the uh, of one of the terms. And um, we also have the governor, um, secretary of state, auditor, um, attorney general, all the state, what they call constitutional officers. So it is a long ballot. It's, it's worth studying. And yeah. again, they're getting all the names out there. I think I've read them all. The only one I hadn't read, oh, Roger Chamberlain is in the middle of a term, Pam Myra for state auditor. I think that's the only one I missed. Nurburger? Want to make sure Did everybody got covered. Yeah, Nurberger too, for Senate. Right. Yeah, I, I think I got Nurberger and Housley for okay. the two <laughs> Senate. Yeah. We just want to make sure. I don't want to get in trouble for missing any of these okay. here. So. But we don't want to miss Lake Area Bank <laughs> that's coming by right now. These. 
<laughs> yes, I, and I and I mentioned Housley, and I think we actually have a Housley right here. So. <laughs> okay, Lake Erie Bank has been saving the financial needs of our neighbors for over a hundred years. Whoa! See what I say? They've I been see. serving forever. Lake Erie Bank is locally owned, progressive community bank dedicated to providing your what providing you with a wide range of products and services to meet your changing financial needs. They say we strive to provide the highest standard of personal service and convenience for you. When you say over 100 years, you realize, of course, White Bear Lake itself as a city was incorporated as a municipality in April of 1881 yeah. by 400 so, people, uh, uh, and the township existed since statehood. 100 years is young, is that I what know. you're saying? And the yes. township existed <laughs> since statehood in 1858. So, you know, 100 years, that's kind of recent, but that works. <laughs> but what we have next here is the White youngins. Bear Lake. Um, oh, White Bear Lake uh, cheerleaders, of course. Uh, we have them coached by Heather Wallstrand. And Bear Cubs. And there they are. And again, they're, they're in training at every age here. They're uh, representing the Varsity Middle School and Bear Cub cheerleaders, sponsored by Ideal Credit Union. So again, thank our local businesses for sponsoring our young people to be the best they can be. Very good. And they got a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> it's fun to be in a parade. What can I say? When I was in high school, I was in a parade. And here we have Custom Remodelers coming by us. I Inc. Custom Remodelers, Inc. is a family-owned business. What has been proudly serving Minnesota and Western Wisconsin for the past 28 years. They're really youngins. Yes. <laughs> CRI specializes in siding, windows, roofing, gutters, offering free estimates on all their work. And you notice they have those little dots on their vehicle, similar to the clown, but I think that was not <laughs> that was not their intention. It was just to bring a little fun and excitement. Maybe to there the, was a uh, sale on them. Uh, Ooh, you know, who knows? It, it could be. But you know, we just we like to be bold. We like uh, we like to be bold. So <laughs> next we have the um, White Bear Lake Relay for Life. It is in its 24th year. Now, this event brings White Bear Lake and surrounding communities together to fight cancer. Mm, good. Um, I remember again when they were formed. It shows my age. They're joined by their four-legged friends from Bark for Life. The pets play a crucial role in the healing process, and tonight, their local Relay for Life wants to honor those pets and the role they play. So join Relay for Life Friday, July 27, starting at 6 p.m. on the track at the White Bear Lake High School South Campus. Everyone's invited to enjoy great food, live bands, silent auction, but above all, an atmosphere of celebration and remembrance for those we've lost, the cancer survivors who are surviving, their caretakers, and just all of the people who are touched in some way by cancer. Tonight, everyone's making a difference in the Relay for Life to make each moment worthwhile. I love the four-legged friends yeah. that are part of this. Bark for life. <laughs> that it. is fantastic. <laughs> um, and um, it is showing over and over again the importance that pets play in our lives. Animals play in our lives. And we're so glad they're being used for such a wonderful cause in this Relay for Life. And, um, you know, joy and jokes and a smile, no matter what you're facing, it does make it yeah, easier. Yeah, absolutely. Well, okay, I think down the road here, I'm seeing, what? A boat? A, a boat? boat? White In White Bear Lake, <laughs> a boat. What an unusual concept. <laughs> Bear Boating of White Bear Lake. Bear Boating is a local nonprofit offering free fishing and boating excursions on White Bear Lake for senior citizens, active duty military, veterans, disabled, and disadvantaged people. What a wonderful offering they're making here. And it's nice to see that we've got Whitaker, uh, uh, Buick GMC of Forest Lake helping out, Chuck and Don's pet food, good things. Um, all of the local sponsors you notice on there, the Legion, um, you know, a little a, a little thing makes a lot of joy when people have challenges in life. Absolutely. So we want to thank Bear Boating of White Bear Lake for offering this service to all these people. Well, here comes a band. All right. What well, I think what well, this one is the Chisago Lakes Marching Band. Um, mid, oh, yeah, the, the, the Wildcats are here from Chisago Lakes. So let's just sit back, listen, and watch, because they're much more entertaining than I am.
Chicago Lakes Marching Band. Did you notice the, the water people out there? Giving them little drinks of water because it is a warm, it's a beautiful day. We thought there'd be rain, we thought there'd be thunder, we thought there'd be lightning, but no, there is sunshine and a breeze. And I say this with great gratefulness. <laughs> yeah, great relief, yes. Great relief is right. Well, now we have the White Bear Class of 1968. Their 50th reunion is what they're going to be celebrating here. And um, in fact, the, week, the reunion is this weekend. What a fun thing to be at a parade. This is the kickoff for three days of celebrating. Classmates have returned from all corners of the U.S. and the Philippines. And knowing what 1968 was like, these are going to be a raucous group of people you here think? for the next three days in White Bear Lake. So. <laughs> Katie, bar the door. Watch out for what's going to happen with the <laughs> class of 68. <laughs> 50 years. It just flew by. I'm sure that's what they're all saying, right? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm only six years away from that reunion, so yes, I understand. <laughs> Are we having to have confessions? <laughs> yeah, I, we don't. No, nothing requires you to disclose okay, anything. Okay, very good. Yeah. I will just keep you discreet here. Yeah. But we congratulate them. This is a landmark. And it's so much fun because all of the issues that you had when you're in high school, oh, all yeah. of a sudden you are, your family. You become yeah. family in this situation. Um, and you just have wonderful memories together and reunions and getting caught up. And these are fun events. Have uh, you been to class reunions? Oh, I go to all the class reunions. Yeah, I do I'm too. from Moorhead, which also is orange and black, so it always looks the same. My <laughs> kids, of course, went to White Bear Lake, so we had yes. the same color scheme. Yeah. But uh, I love the class reunions because each ta each year each year that goes by you realize how unimportant the things you thought were important and how much you appreciate uh, what's really important yeah, in life yeah, yeah yeah look at how many are sitting <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's an option available it's at that time. It's an option available, you know. right. And now, that classic 1953 McCormick Farmall tractor, you don't see many of that brand. My mother's name was McCormick, so I always admired those. Oh, you know, okay. they were a, a you know a small brand compared to John Deere and those big ones. So I always admire the underdogs. You know. <laughs> now I wonder if this guy rode a Harley 50 years ago. Well, I think he's going to ride one by the end of the weekend too. Um, I think that's the plan. So. <laughs> he gets off of this one and then they're going to a Harley. Oh, okay. Look at the way he almost popped a wheelie on that. Yeah, that's uh, quite possible here. Well, like I said, it's a beautiful day here in White Bear Lake for this uh, White Bear Lake Manitou Days Grand Parade. It's the best in Minnesota. What can I say? People turn out. In fact, I love how they set up the chairs. Oh, yeah. You put a chair down. And what's interesting, PJ, is that, mm -hmm. or JP, I knew I was going to call Don't you Don't worry, I've, I've been called many worse things. Just ask my grandkids. JR, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, nobody moves the chairs. The oh. chairs stay. You can be confident the chairs will be where you put them. Yes. That doesn't happen in a lot of communities. Well, that is true, but everybody knows everybody else. And now you see what we've got coming here is Sunday Night Fever. Now, that is the theme for the great Midwest Ski Otters. Now, you know, the Ski Otters are this amazing ski group uh, that we have in the area. They'll take you back in time this year at their events to when the Bee Gees were king, bell bottoms were the far out fashion. So every Sunday this summer, you can come and watch the auction. I mean, you can come to watch them as they unfold their Studio 61. Guys and gals impress the crowd and strut their stuff on and high above the liquid dance floor. Their disco ball will fall. The chance to cheer will come. So yes, if you don't know the ski otters, they do great shows every Sunday night on the lake. And this year they've got a 70s theme or a 70s and 80s theme. It's great. We'll look forward to have Sundays with the ski otters on the lake. And here we have White Bear Lake Lacrosse. Um, we organize, promote boys and girls, youth lacrosse for children living in boundaries of the White Bear Lake School District in grade second through the eighth grade. Lacrosse. Oh, yes, it's become very, very popular uh, sport, not just the name for a Buick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are into cars, aren't you? I am into cars. <laughs> David Dunbar Buick was his name, by the way. So, um, um, but yes, it's. Um, it is a, um, it is really a rapidly growing sport all, all over the area here. Now you see we have the, uh, the uh, township represented here. So we have the White Bear Township uh, board uh, appears to have their vehicle in here. Steve Ruzik, Bob Kermes, and Ed uh, Prudholm. Remember we have about what 13, 14,000 residents of the township, about 24, 25,000 residents of the city. So they snuck in here at this point. Um, and then Venice Heights Lions just passed by as well. Oh yes. The Vadnais Heights Lions are... Um, and here we have um, Flips Gymnastics. 
and they're doing their Oh, all the way to the parade route. They're doing their flips gymnastics in front of us. Serving the Wipe Your Area since 1988. They offer preschool, school-age gymnastics, and a boys' ninja program. Oh, that sounds thrilling, doesn't it? Oh, and very scary. I did want to. <laughs> I did want to mention about the lions as they went by. I didn't. I, I didn't remember the waffle breakfast in April and October. You got to go. They make great. Uh, Great social event, but they raise money for really, really great, uh, great causes. And uh, Lion Eileen Shearer is now the district governor of 40 clubs. So we have a lot to be proud of with our local Lions group. Sorry, I, I missed that earlier. No, and I it's to make important sure I to get that in. one out because yes. that waffle breakfast is yeah. a very important event. Yeah, it's dear and dear to my heart. Yeah. So Flips Gymnastics is doing their thing in front of us. They're flipping out here yeah. in a good way. <laughs> and then coming behind them is the Academy for Science oh, and Agriculture. Yes, of course. This is a public public charter school grades 5 through 12. Uh, engage, it engages the learners academically ri rigorous student-centered learning experiences, leadership opportunities within a science and agricultural context. I believe it is the only agricultural themed charter school in Minnesota and we have it right here. And here we have a, we oh. saw this coming, coming, and it was all covered up with uh, plastic, so <laughs> we couldn't see what was underneath it, but this is a cute float. It is. Well, and you know, again, it's the Academy for Science Agriculture. And Green honeybees, growing. honeybees are important in oh, agriculture. Very much. It's yes. uh, matter of fact, my, uh, my wife just uh, got the grandkids to help her put in the pollinator garden two years ago because of the great need for, uh, for all that. For the honeybees and <laughs> all that, right. Yep. Well, here we have behind the agriculture group, uh, the Entire Family Clinics. Entire Family Clinics have 12 convenient East Metro primary clinics and uh, where generations thrive is their theme. And this is my clinic. I got to look to see if I see a Dr. Anderson out there or a Winnie, and there she is. She <laughs> is giving me something. But my doctor, she treats me well, what can I say? I'm sure it's healthy, whatever, whatever your doctor gave you there. <laughs> There's right? no candy there, no candy there. <laughs> But they, uh, they serve the community, it's a community-based <coughs> clinic, and they're located in 12 neighborhoods throughout the East Metro. That's the Entira Family Clinics. Well, that's wonderful that uh, you have the local connection there. Again, your, your personal endorsements of some of our fine organizations. Now is when I'm going to have to eat some of my words earlier because, yes, this is the a South Shore Trinity Lutheran Church yeah. being brought by a John Deere tractor. <laughs> A fine, fine business. I know John started uh, doing agricultural implements about 150 years ago, so well, nothing is, against him. John but my family deer. name was McCormick, so it was a little more important to me. But South Shore Trinity Church is, uh, was founded on December 3rd, 1943. The whole world was at war, and they decided that it was time to find a church and to find yeah. the peace that can happen, and that is just a wonderful comment. Their theme... Uh, the theme verse for this year is Psalm uh, 105. Um, for the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Uh, it's located right across the street from Bel Air Beach on the south side of the lake. I've uh, driven by that many times. The church loves sharing the saving message of Jesus' love to all people. They invite you to come and learn what it means to be sharing, caring, growing in Christ. 75 years. Oh, White Bear Center for the... I thought I saw... Yeah, White Bear yeah. Center for the okay, Arts, here right here. White Bear Center for the Arts is our own local nonprofits art organization offering 900 programs for adults, families, and children each year and beautiful shorts, shows in its Ford Family Gallery. Stop by to enjoy a gallery show or get more information on classes and programs. White Bear Center for the Arts. And again, Highway 61, Furnage Road, Long Avenue, right next door to Hannibal Center for the Arts. So you've got all your performing arts and your visual arts. And now we're going to have some real performing arts now because we have the oh the next band here the we Blaine have the Blaine marching. march the Bengals yeah 80 members uh, they do many parades it's led by drum majors uh, Michaela Liptic uh, Devin Gast and Gavin Sparts enjoy a rousing performance of the popular Latin tune Melagena Melagena <laughs> by Ernesto Lequana oh, well arranged said. by mar for the marching band by Jay Boku oh that was an easy one to say <laughs> that one was easier than one. but let's listen listen to what they pulled together here for us.
Marching Bengals from Blaine. Yep. Rigorous fall season they've got coming up. They're just keeping in shape for it. Did you march in a band? No, I didn't. I, uh, even before I wore hearing aids, I was uh, <laughs> unable to carry a tune. I was a cheerleader. I uh, marched in, I see. Yeah, in California. Yeah. Now, if, it so. was, if it was musical, I was pretty much uh, <laughs> incapable of doing it. I think I told you the uh, nuns at my Catholic school did make a comment about my singing, <laughs> not necessarily honoring God. So. Um, <laughs> Moving right along. We won't ask you to no. demonstrate. <laughs> no, we won't. Uh, my mouth is watering because Grandma's Bakery, who was a parade sponsor for the uh, White Bear Lake Manitou Days Grand Parade, and it's cooking time they say oh it's always cookie time grandma's bakery is celebrating four ye 40 years four zero years of celebrating this summer they have two white bear lake locations downtown on fourth street and their main bakery on berkeley road grandma's is known for their famous donuts cookies decorated cakes stop in and treat yourself and we're getting cookies right now as i speak it's so good. because it is always cookie time and i believe driving Thank the truck you. is grandma himself john is right there a national leader <laughs> in the baking industry but we're glad he does his work here i love grandma john is that yes, what you're saying that's him yes grandma john and um when my when I took my grandchildren there, my granddaughter saw the truck in the parking lot and said, "I want that one," I want and pointed at that massive. <laughs> and I wanted that size. You wanted it that big. <laughs> right, exactly. And then going to uh, the food for the food from the body to the food for our brains and our hearts and our souls, we have the Senate District 38 and 43 Democratic Farmer Labor Party volunteers, elected officials, and candidates serving the White Bear Lake area here. So you notice we got looks. We got Betty McCollum's group all here. State legislative candidates uh, Kevin Fogarty up in the northern part of the district, Amy Wozlowick and a little bit southern of 38. And there is Representative Peter Fisher in the blue shirt representing uh, District 43A, the south part of White Bear Lake and North Maplewood. And uh, so we got uh, the whole group there. And of course, if you go to the truck, you'll you'll see they've got the signs. And they're all displayed there. And just we did earlier with the uh, with the other party here, we have uh, their entire statewide thing. We've got. Two Senate seats up, so of course we have Amy Klobuchar and Tina Smith for uh, U.S. Senate, and we have um, um, Blaha for State Auditor. I've known her for years, and uh, um, great person. We also, of course, have our, uh, our great team of Democrats. Um, the, one who is, uh, the one who is missing is the one who is homesick today, my wife, County Commissioner Victoria Reinhardt. So I will send my best wishes to her as she recovers, and she'll be at next year's parade. <laughs> <laughs> we wish her well. I figured I should throw that in. You're a good spokesman it, uh, for her. It was uh, well represented. Yes. yes. So again, all local volunteers, uh, politics in Minnesota, regardless of party or uh, independence uh, of your thing, it's whatever time you put into it, you are a leader in making a difference in our life. Coming up is Edina Realty in White Bear Lake. And I think I want that little house in my backyard. That is so cute. <laughs> at Edina Realty, we like to get our clients started at a young age for home ownership. Therefore, the little house, right? Stop in the office on 61 and 4th Street and register to win this great playhouse. I'm going to have to stop in. Yes, you that just... That is really cute. Just because you volunteered to call the parade does not mean you are exempt from <laughs> being eligible to possibly do <laughs> it. No, it's a it. drawing. They wouldn't no, it's know, It's an open right? drawing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not like we're being paid for this after <laughs> all. So. <laughs> no, we get cookies. We do, yeah. There are some bribes <laughs> apparently involved here. And um, we accept all bribes. Um, you, know, you know, edible ones at least are the only ones, but yes. The Idina Realty of White Bear Lake is a very a very pleasing entry. I love that look. Yes, that yeah. is so cute. Tiny well, houses are in. I don't know if I want it that tiny. Yeah, well, I think it's uh, the playhouse look would be quite fine. Yes, um, good. We're getting our picture takers, so well, smile. I see. <laughs> there we go. Well, as we do that, that is actually from um, the Boogie for Jesus group, which is coming up next. Uh, it's a dance ministry that tries to create a uh, party atmosphere. And, oh, yes, there's Lorvin, I believe we have right here. Yes, a rapper named Lorvin. Um, through the use of four characters, one, the charismatic, two, the godinator, three, the entertainer, and four, God's pit bull. He's probably entertained over 1.75 million people throughout 120 parades, the State Fair, the Sunshine Music Festival, other events. What he does is he takes popular music, cleans up some of those lyrics, and he's given over 300 songs, a great message for parades. He uses a convertible car with strobe lights. To find out more, 
Go to boogieforjesus.com. And I love that he cleans up some of those lyrics. Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, been helpful in a lot of, <laughs> throughout a lot of history, not just modern music. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. Lorvin, keep it up. Yeah, I got it. Well, let's listen for a moment. Prisadi. It looks like we have here the Prisadi Catholic Academy uh, coming up next here, inspiring today's students to be the moral leaders of tomorrow. Now, I met some members of this school earlier. Yeah. They gave us little black bags with some goodies. Remember, oh. we take bribes, right? I understand. And well. I was told that they have a tw 120 people, roughly, in the parade wow. here showing up today. And they were very proud of that. Well, it's a great thing. The Prisadi School. So of course, um, an out, it's the Catholic Academy. Um, outgrowth of when there used to be a St. Mary and St. Pius, spe separate Catholic schools. They uh, came together, uh, renamed as Prasati after uh, a relatively modern saint uh, to be the United um, uh, Catholic Academy of, um, uh, in the White Bear Lake area. And um, they're not that far from my house. And uh, it looks like they've got that energy here, just like they have when I drive by their area. And they notice all the things they emphasize here, engineering, technology, science, math. And that's their um, STEM. Religion. Yeah. Well, yes. And that's the thing that they're all, not, not just a local Catholic academy, but they're also a STEM school, so they've got the science technology um, emphasis going on at the same time. It's a good group of people, 120. They all have very special shirts made for this event as yeah. well. And here we have, I have here, Upsy Daisy. Oh, yes. Upsy Daisy <laughs> is located on 3rd Street in downtown White Bear. This little gem of a shop specializes in one-of-a-kind gifts, home decor, and vintage finds. Oh. I love the name Upsy Daisy. Oh, yes, it is. You know, I think it reflects when you do vintage that it's the simpler memories of a simpler time. Yes, well said, well said. And everybody, I mean, vintage is very in right now, I'll tell yeah. you. Well, heaven knows I like to think I'm vintage, so <laughs> I go with that, yeah. You're very in, yeah. <coughs> JP. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Uh, I said it right. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Are you and getting next, hungry? Oh, yes, and Carboni's has taken very good care of me over the years. With a name like Baroni, I've got to appreciate <laughs> Carboni. Um, obviously cousins of some sort here. Um, but yes, the pizzeria in Pub and White Bear Lake, you know, they, they have that uh, new location there about a year ago, greatly expanded. You gotta check it out. Um, it's a wonderful thing. It's, like I say, both a pizzeria and a pub. A lot of room, a lot of people in that room. Uh, I gotta let you know, it uh, is always a busy place to be. So we do appreciate it. Amen. Yep. I, give me cookies and pizza. I, That's I'm fine. fine. I'm fine for life. Carboni's right. made me what I am today, <laughs> and we got to accept that reality. So. And here we have the Children's Discovery Academy. They serve families through the exceptional care and education of children six weeks of age through fifth grade. Six weeks of age through fifth grade. Whoa. Voted best day care. Whoa, that's, uh, that's quite a responsibility, and uh, they do it beautifully. Boy. Children's Discovery Academy. Talk about being an overachiever when you're competitive at five weeks. <laughs> I do admire that. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was discovering at five weeks, but, <laughs> but they're obviously maximizing the potential in everyone. That's in amazing. That. That's it, amazing. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. Well, that is great. That is great. Um, but yeah, you know, they, they say the earlier the, earlier the stimulation and learning, uh, the more the lifelong effect. So you just really have to appreciate. Well, daycare isn't becoming just babysitting anymore. Oh no! It's uh, you know, is how how early can we teach things oh, and, yeah. and make it enjoyable, uh, exciting for the child, not a, a strenuous thing, but yeah. a good thing for them. It's not what you know. It's how you learn. And here's another thing you can learn is at Benson Airport, where they have the great, uh, fun local uh, local airplanes, local pilots. Uh, they have great activities, though you may not know about. It isn't just a place to go out to Benson Airport if you have to have a small plane or want to take a few lessons um, they really have wonderful things on Tuesday on most Tuesday nights you come out to the main hangar they have all kinds of activities they uh, they educate they enlighten they entertain youth demonstration flights available and uh, the the beautiful classic what is that about a 1947 uh, 
I'm just making a guess it's there. It's yellow. It's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful little plane. I, um, yes, I, uh, I do remember when I was in uh, student pilot thing when I was 17, I didn't stick with it, but realizing the inside of the plane was smaller than a Volkswagen was pretty scary. Now passing by is Wiper Lake Sports Center. Wiper Lake Skate School provides skating lessons for all ages and abilities and group and private lessons. And many of them are on skates even as we speak as they're mm -hmm. going down. Mm -hmm. I never did learn those inline skates, did no. you? No, I... Uh, I wanted to live. I think uh, <laughs> I, I put on some plastic ones once when I was such a heavy kid I broke them and that was the end of my <laughs> skating career. Um, my well, mother I loved to skate and never understood why my brother and I did not like it. So when my sister came along, she had skates at like five weeks because mother was gonna get one skater in the group and she did. <laughs> And then we I have... I know, we have bagpipes coming. The Minnesotan. It's a heritage... Get this. It is a heritage apparel brand. It's opening in downtown White Bear Lake in July of this year. It embraced traditional cultural nostalgia, lifestyle, history, and heart through the original designs to reflect you. The Minnesotan. It's uh, T-shirts. It's all zips, hoodies. But it's just unique clothing. And they're and opening July of this year. And so they've got the classic... Classic style of the uh, of the Irish band, and of course a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. The I don't care those people who think the 57 was the most beautiful. Those Chevroletologists can disagree with me. I go with the 55. So <laughs> true classic right there. I think I had something like that. Yes. <laughs> something like you either had a 55 or you did. <laughs> I should know. Is that what you're saying? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hard, hard to imagine. I'm talking to an aficionado. Well, aficionado it's a Bel Air. Here. It's not a 210 or a 510. It's a Bel Air. <laughs> All I knew was the color. It was red and white. <laughs> okay. We've and gone I, off topic. Let's get back here to next is, uh, what do we have here, Alina? I, I believe, is this? Um, Alina Health. Alina Health. Right yes. here, Alina, Alina Health. Health is dedicated to a prevention and treatment of illness and enhancing the greater health of individuals, families, and communities throughout Minnesota and Western Wisconsin. Wisconsin, okay, yes. Alina Health. And they're, they're handing out candy and they have a good representation here too. Right. Well, you know, candy is part of a healthy diet. It's just not the entire diet. You have to realize, yeah, you know. Yeah, you got to balance things out, right? right? Yeah. It's like when my granddaughter told me I would die of old age, but I should eat salad. And I was trying to think what that meant, but... <laughs> is that how I want to spend my life, right? Uh, yeah, so... Um, but uh, that's a line of health. And then we have the White Bear Lake Fishing, fishing Team. team. Yeah. It's a nonprofit high school team serving the community in winter and uh, fishing tournaments in the summer. Oh, and I just found out here that, that girls won today's tournament. All right, we have the big winners here. The, the, the girls at White Bear Lake Fishing Team, the young people right over there, our nonprofit high school okay, group. Okay, are you thirsty? Because here's Big Wood Beer Float. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. Their definition of beer is fun, but even when they're having a good time, they're working hard to brew the best, most flavorful beers possible. The Big Wood crew is proud to be part of the Madrid's Grand Parade, and they invite you to join them for one of their signature beers in their tap room. It's quite the thing, the uh, local brewing uh, 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 specialties has truly, truly uh, got to a higher level every year from what I have here. And uh, looks like we now have, um, oh, Lakeshore, uh, Lakeshore, Lakeshore Family Dentistry is next here. Welcoming new patients, they say. Well, yeah, did, fifth, did you, did you floss today? I floss. <laughs> I floss. That's a personal question. I isn't floss it? <laughs> every day, but we not go much further into my dental health here. But uh, and yes, the, I do floss the every tooth day. The fairy just walked by. I want yes. you to tell it. And was yeah. giving me a look like I'm not sure I trust him, but it is true. Oh, and look at. And this beautiful uh, Chevrolet Camaro here. What do we have here? We have Dr. John Kenyon, the founder of the uh, Lakeshore Family Dentistry. 50th anniversary this year in beautiful downtown White Bear Lake. And that is my dentistry. Okay. Dr. Crone in that office right. is my dentist. See, see you, you have personal endorsements for everything here. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, stop by, share memories of 50 years, and don't forget to spe schedule that next appointment. And floss your teeth. I will always floss, yes. <laughs> Notice I asked you. Did, you didn't ask me, but I floss I, I'm as well. trying not to I get floss, that personal. I floss, yeah, okay, I floss. Good. No, I assumed you, you wouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> no, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because I had to be ready for you to ask me, right? right? And, okay. and now White Bear Lake Youth Hockey. 
is coming up next. Um, now, I don't know, dentistry and hockey, I'm old enough to remember before they had the mouth guards, and there was a lot of missing teeth involved in hockey. So I do know now that doesn't happen anymore, so I don't want to do the stereotypes, but yeah. being I'm, you know, I was born in 1956, I do remember the... Um, the, uh, the look of the teeth of the hockey players. <laughs> but here are the youth hockey group. They've got the girls hockey being part of something special as Bears is what they say uh, for their slogan. And isn't that great? Yes. And yes. they all have their teeth. And they're, <laughs> <laughs> and they're handing out, I don't know what they're, they're actually the wristbands it looks like. Oh, okay. And yeah. candy. Yeah, a little combination. Oh, that's fine. You know, a variety fun. pack of gifts here. But, oh, yeah, Once little again, sweethearts I, here. I talk about memories. Yes. This is really fun to be a part of a parade like this in the downtown area. Well, and they have a truck full of that candy. They're ready for everything. <laughs> well, you're well, watching the uh, 2018 Manitou Days Parade celebrating all aboard bears, brought to you by White Bear Events. And we're glad that you could join us to take in the festivities and the pride, the pride of this community mm -hmm. and all the businesses that have come together. You know, businesses, organization, clowns, sports groups, and many great musical groups are in hand, ready to get this parade going and be a part of it. And here comes one of those groups right now. Right, what do we have, a Forest Lake. The Forest Lake Ranger Marching Band, isn't it? That's correct. And it says uh, it's composed of 7th through 12th grade band students from Southwest Junior High, Century Junior High, Forest Lake Area High School. So it's a combination of schools up there in Forest Lake. Lake. The band is directed by Jake Matheson and Kyle Page. And uh, as they get closer to us, we definitely want to take a listen. good sound. When you consider, yeah. these are from different bands, from different schools, and they have to get accustomed to one director. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm on choirs, and when a new choir director comes in, there's an adjustment to that. <laughs> and they're doing very well. It's a good mm -hmm. sound there. Do you play uh, an instrument? No, no, no. I um, I play the vocal chords. I see. You do. Yeah, like, you do better than yes. me, then. Um, <laughs> even, even before I had the hearing aids early in life, I think I was lacking some ability in that. But now let's see other abilities I don't have. This is Lee's uh, champion Taekwondo Academy. Oh, my uh, my son did Taekwondo for a while, my younger son. This is amazing to watch here. You've got uh, the uh, SWAT team, students led by Grand Marshal Young Hyuk Lee, a founder of the uh, Lee's uh, Champion Taekwondo Academy and a U.S. national team coach. Taekwondo is one of the best activities for children and parents to improve concentration and self-confidence. Academy is located in Shoreview's uh, Village Mall. So visit them at www.leeschampion.com. Try out a trial lesson, they'll offer one to you. So let's see them move and see what they can do. Well, you know, this would give me confidence if I could do this. There's no doubt about it. Well, you see, you just said that the problem there is you have confidence only if you can do it. You have to have confidence that I can to do learn it, right? to do it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for it pointing that out. It doesn't just happen. There is some work involved oh, in Oh, I getting. wish it did just happen. No, this I is am. a good group. This it is, is a good group. Yeah. And they're giving demonstrations all the way down the line. They started out with something very dramatic. There's no doubt oh, yes. about it. Okay, what's our car here? Oh, uh, that's a foreign car, so, you know, it doesn't really count. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're not doing that just because you don't know what it is? I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. It's too I'm modern on, for I'm me. I'm to you. 55 I Chevy I can get, these after-the-turn-of-the-century models. Uh, uh, 
Once again, this is Lee Champions Taekwondo Academy. Quite impressive, Marching yes. proudly in the White Bear Lake Manitou Days Grand Parade. And, yep. Well, yep, this is this is a good this is a good one coming up. Oh yes, right now. and you see right there yes. in the white shirt, we have the sheriff himself. So I got to straighten up. Jack Sarir is uh, is over there, uh, chatting with the folks. And look what he's brought with him from the sheriff's office. Oh, this is terrific. This is the Mounted Patrol unit of the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office. The Mounted Patrol is made of ten volunteer reserve deputies and their horses. The unit is in its second year of operation. The mission of the Mounted Patrol Unit is to support search and rescue operations, patrol some of the larger parks within Ramsey County, County, and to attend community events as ambassadors of the Sheriff's Office. The creation of the Mounted Unit was made possible by donations from local businesses and the Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation. We're glad we got that unit going. I it's love very that impressive. mounted patrol. Well, you know, I think that's the only horses I've seen in this parade, so that's quite impressive. And, and this they, is how they got here. Yep, you got it, the horse trailer. <laughs> they didn't They didn't just come all the way from the law enforcement center uh, down by downtown St. Paul. You know what I'm glad Paul. to see is that they're being treated well. <laughs> yeah. This is a good trailer, this, I'll tell you. This is top class. Yep. I would say this is the Roll, Rolls Royce of trailers. I, I would say, but when you think of how much money you put into horses oh, and absolutely. taking care of them, yeah. uh, both financially and ethically, it's the right investment to We make. just have horses, but and you know, it, I would trailer them, okay. and my, my we would rent the trailer. We had nothing like this, oh. and my biggest fear was going to collapse no. with the horse in it. It, 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 it was a nerve-wracking drive. I would suppose. I, I have no ex expertise on horses, so I do admire your expertise on that <laughs> in the trailer. Um, but next we have here is Coventry Senior Living. It is a small assisted living and memory care community offering the care you need when living alone is really no longer an option. It's a warm, cozy community. Everyone knows your name at Coventry Senior Living. Coventry of Matamidi has their uh, unit right there. That's great to know that there are folks out there to be helping in this situation of memory care. Yep. As I call you PJ, I yeah. should maybe visit. Well, well you know, <laughs> don't worry. It's, uh, yeah. It's happened before. There's the little, there's the little things versus uh, the larger things. Okay, okay. Oh. Here we have Applebee's, oh. and they have a sign up there all day, every Monday. All burgers, seven ninety nine, and yeah. five ninety nine, and domestic pitchers. So a full oh, pitcher I, of beer for five ninety nine. She's carrying a menu with her. I love that. <laughs> I see. Well, we're not going to place orders from here to have it <laughs> delivered. Um, but I do really appreciate uh, Applebee's. I remember when they had the parade one year and they had somebody dressed as an apple and somebody dressed as a bee. Uh, they were such hot uniforms, so we were afraid they weren't going to make it through the end of the parade. No, oh, the bee is just The riding. bee is still here. <laughs> I, I, I know the one I saw was about to collapse then when I don't they were think actually. There's anybody in that bee. Right, well, when they were wearing oh, the uniforms. The oh, there's the, the apple. apple. Yeah, okay, there we, we go. do. Okay, they're making it. Somebody's risking their life again, dressed as the apple with the apple and the bee. All and right. And here we have the um, archery. I just lost it here but oh. the archery group oh yes yes archery we, team white bear lake archery team yep there's and, the white bear uh, lake archery yeah. team uh ranked tw in the top 20 percent in the nation anika doll and carly mater placed in the top five in the state this year white bear lake archery team winners top five top 20 percent you go you go and congratulations on that win yes and keep those arrows aimed at the targets please yes very impressive. I could never shoot well, an arrow. No, no. It would always fall. <laughs> well, eventually they are. I mean, that's kind of the old story, right? Oh, exactly. Concordia Academy coming up yeah, here? Exactly. Located in Roseville, the Concordia Academy. It's your local Christian high school, celebrating 125 years of honoring God through excellence. Concordia Academy is a place where hundreds of unique individuals make one exceptional high school. For more information, visit concordiaacademy.com. 125 years. There they are, the home of the deacons. I bet you these are football players. Yes. Yep. Well, they're deacons, we know that. <laughs> from it's, all, it's written on. Is that the, that's the name of the team, deacons. Yeah, the deacons, oh, yeah. That's, that's very good. <laughs> I had an uncle whose nickname when he was young was Deacon because he was such a reverent sort of guy. He was the only one in the family who there ever got that name. There was meaning to the name. That's <laughs> he great. Was, he's 89. He's doing well. But he was the only one who ever earned that honor. 
Oh, and now we have White Bear Heights uh, Senior Living Community, offering independent living, assisted living, and memory care. It's located right across from Cub Food over there on Centerville Road, just off of uh, I-35E exit. Um, but again, it offers all of the options that you may need in your times of transition. Independent living, assisted living, memory care, depending on who in your family needs what, it has, uh, it has what you need. And, oh, and rated a top workplace by the Star Tribune in 2017. Congratulations I, with that award. Yes, that's, that's great. It's uh, wonderful. And their slogan is live well. You know, <laughs> words to live by. Absolutely. We should all do that. Well, it's a beautiful day in downtown White Bear Lake, and we're so glad you've joined us for the parade today. I think we have like 30-some uh, entries into this parade. Oh. So we're... Oh no, you're you're miscounting. We have three sections of about 30 <laughs> each. We have um, we have about 100 units uh, in Is the Is that parade. correct? Yes. Really, yes. I did miss because okay, yeah. we'll go through this later. But uh, yes, that's a large parade, and they said it's one of the biggest. Oh yes. In Minnesota. And well known and best attended, and I've been to a lot of parades in my day, and I just have to point out that. Uh, for being in it, it is compressed enough that you have people around you all the time. There are some that have like two blocks of gap yes. between sections because yeah. they want to go through the whole town, which unless you're riding a horse gets really tiring <laughs> at a certain point. Well, you know what's good about that, though? Yeah. Then there aren't there are depths of uh, bodies in front of you there watching the parade. You can sit on the side here and you can have a perfect view for this. See, and you that's always the choice between uh, whether you're, you're walking in it or whether you're... Uh, you're watching it as to what's better. And now we have, oh yeah, now we got a separate thing, the Jack Sarir um, uh, for Sheriff Ramsey Campaign County Committee Sheriff. here. Yeah, yes. There we go. Oh, and there's, there's Mark, one of the campaign managers driving the truck there. We saw Jack earlier with the mounted unit, but of course, you know, the we want to keep the campaign separate from the public service. <laughs> so Jack is running for election this year to a full term as our sheriff. And it um, says you'd like your support in this November's election. Yes. About three decades in law enforcement experience, and uh, now uh, now our county sheriff, and uh, up for election on the fall I ballot. love how they have the sheriff's badges on them, yes. Yes, yes. Well, That's you know, good. the police force have shields, and the county sheriffs have stars. Okay, so all right. Got so here we have Imagine White Bear Township Theater. It's newly remodeled. The new Imagine White Bear Township Theater with heated recliners, now that, that, that intrigued me. Heated oh, yes. recliners. Ha they have a handmade stove, fired pizzas, a full bar coming soon, and our new Emacs screen, an exceptional sound and picture. Newly remodeled with five or more popcorn choices. Oh, I'm gonna add that to my list. Cookies, yeah. pizza, and popcorn. You know, the idea that you have to have choices of popcorn <laughs> <laughs> is amazing, but but you know, the whole well, you experience. Cheese, you got caramel, the you got. <laughs> the reclined heated seats, you know, you gotta try to stay awake for the whole movie, you're too comfortable. That could be a problem. <laughs> and the so. heated, that's interesting to have Well, it is Minnesota, seats. you know. You do, we may not think of it when it's over 90 today, but it is uh, It is there, so. Modern early childhood is passing in front right. of us. Modern Media Early Childhood Family Education and Preschools are dedicated to strengthening and supporting the ability of all parents to provide the best possible environment for health growth and development of children. And there's a cutie right there on our screen. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very cute. Yeah. It's very good. And then we have, um, we now have an uh, Elliot Nickel running for uh, Ramsey County uh, Judge. Um, he's a Ramsey County resident, devoted to the community. Remember to flip over your ballot in November and vote Elliot Nickel for judge because, you know, you have the partisan ballot on one side and then the nonpartisan, uh, like judge, and, of course, the all-important county commissioner, which my wife is, uh, and, and uh, other important things. So we, um, we do have a few uh, contested county uh, second judicial district uh, judgeships this year, and Elliot Nickel is a candidate is out here meeting everybody so you can get to know him so he can earn your vote one person at a time. Press in the flesh, so to speak. Well, you know, <laughs> you got to do it. Exactly. How do you? How do you? Most. You know, how do you know who to vote for if you met him? That helps you know one way or another. And it makes so an impression. Appreciate Elliot out doing this that. This is here. something I need. J Dog Junk Removal White Bear Lake. They say we are a new company in White Bear Lake in Minnesota. We are veteran owned and strive to hire other veterans to empower them while serving the community. We repurpose and recycle. 
Oh, that is good to know about. J-Dog junk removal and hauling. Do not let my wife know because everything I own that I want to keep, she views as junk <laughs> and wants it all gone. So <laughs> uh. I will hide that from her. But, but a fine local business again. They keep starting up here, and then they last forever in White Bear Lake. So it's good to see this uh, veteran, and veteran they re themed they group. And they repurpose. That's what I love to well, see. Well, that's something that's yeah, important. Yeah, because one person's junk is another person's treasure. Right. And just yeah. I happen to treasure all kinds of junk. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so there's the problem. <laughs> but un next we have unlimited next level drill and dance award-winning drum and dance youth group under the direction of D.D. Cole they perform parades competitions community events let's take a look and listen to the unlimited next level drill and dance group They truly Good are job. unlimited. Yes, I mean, oh, and they are the next level. Absolutely, oh, they truly are. That is unlimited, and there is a lot of uh, energy, yeah. en energy, and they're a lot more limber than I could ever dream of being. <laughs> <laughs> now, interesting inflated suit here. You'll see yeah. here in a minute. Here, oh, oh, he is representing a chiropractic player. Here, excuse me. Health source of White Bear Lake. And you'll see their their uh, SUV coming up here in a minute. Oh, there yeah. you go. See that? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, perfect the for uh, for chiropractic care. They're letting you know. <laughs> they're exposing what they're working on right there for Absolutely. you. That's great. Health source is health source is you trusted local provider of local chiropractic care, delivered quality chiropractic rehab and wellness services backed by one of the industry's largest clinical systems. They say we focus on relieving your pain and improving your overall health so you can focus on doing what you love. Health source of White Bear Lake. That's wonderful. And now we have the float from Sand Law. This is a, a injury lawyer's office. They have offices in both White Bear Lake and St. Paul. And so Sand Law, and of course, I um, am here drooling over that Cadillac convertible. <laughs> it looks like, is that a 74 Eldorado or a 75? I'm a little off here. I got to look at the taillights to know, but uh, that is gorgeous. It's one long car. That's uh, all I can well, say. Well, yes, I um, <laughs> I have to admit, I own a, a 70 Cadillac convertible. I had to take all the racks out of the back of the garage just to fit it in. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, is that long. Oh, but, that's oh, great. that's wonderful. So, sand law, and obviously, if something happens to that car, there will be a lawsuit. So. <laughs> They're laughing like you're you're darn well right on that. I one. guess all right. So I'm still <laughs> guessing it's a '74, but again, you know, I didn't actually own a lot of Cadillacs in my day. So. And here we have 45 <laughs> TV Dr. Chuck Ellis. Everybody say hi to Dr. Chuck Ellis, Institute of Laughter Professor. All the laughs and all the fun on our 45 TV. Watch your favorite comedies like The Goldbergs, Mike and Molly, and Friends Five Nights a Week on 45 TV. Yes, I've seen uh, Chuck Ells on uh, television many times. It's great to have a major celebrity be willing to come all the way from 45 here to, uh, to beautiful <laughs> White Bear Lake. Uh, I think I recognize that tie. I think I donated it back in 78. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he does. Uh, he does the promo commercials for all of their uh, 
great programming of the class, <laughs> the classics of comedy. He's got a lot of personality. There's um, no doubt about it. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and next, um, well, we, we well, look at that. I, I didn't. I just realized now we've got his head on a stick a couple yeah, places right around we're him. We're sticking around here for a little is, bit longer. That is a little bit, little bit scary actually. I don't know if I'd want my head on a stick <laughs> while I was walking down the street. Well, especially <laughs> when you put it in front of your face, your head looks pretty big with your I, body. Yeah, I suppose there is that. So. <laughs> So they look like they have a wonderful time. There's no yeah. doubt about it. And we have five yeah. eyewitness news, KSCP yes. coming up right behind yeah. them. Yeah, the uh, five, yeah, because they're affiliated with the 45 uh, ah, station. Gotcha. So I they, see. Uh, you know, you got serious news, and then you go to the sitcoms over on 45. <laughs> so they want to be the full meal deal for finding out what's really going on and then needing to escape from it in the real world. And uh. here we have uh, incredible nutrition uh, for you. Yes, so Incredible Nutrition for You is a wellness center offering many things to increase your healthy, active lifestyle. They have the protein smoothie. They have the weight loss challenges, fun exercise classes like cardio drumming. Yes, I said that right, cardio drumming. On the corner of Rice Street and Little Canada Road, so you can check out their cardio drumming. See there how healthy they're there getting? They are. They're doing it right in front you know, of us. Doing that, it's great to know. And uh, again, that's Incredible Nutrition for You. That takes a lot of energy, actually, and how fun it is to be hitting those balls like that. There are days when I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it takes out a lot of aggression. Yes. And you're trimming yourself at the same time. It, it's good to know something beyond yelling, you know, can work. <laughs> I love it. Cardio drumming. This is this is very creative. I wonder who thought of it and how upset they were with somebody at the time they thought of it. <laughs> uh, and they say, and I'm getting in shape. This is yeah. wonderful. Yes. And coming behind them, you'll be seeing Four Seasons Air Specialists. Now, uh, we are, they say... An HVAC company. Okay, in yeah. White Bear Lake. And yeah. it, it, does that mean home vacuum? Heating, ventilation, oh. air conditioning, the whole thing. They move air to make it hotter. They move it to make it colder. They just keep that air moving whatever way you okay. need it moved. Okay, all so. right, yeah. And there you see it right on the side of their truck yeah. there. All the things that they can offer. Heating, air conditioning, ventilation, indoor air quality. Four Seasons Air Specialist, Inc. And they're an authorized Lennox dealer. I'm sure Dave Lennox yeah, signed the contract personally uh, so that they can uh, can take care of that. And they, oh, looks like I'm getting bribed with the water, which oh, I can use. Thank you, you much. Yes, I appreciate that's that. Great. Uh, we'll make it work here. So Four Seasons Air Specialist, another local business. We appreciate them supporting us, which moves right into Lund's and Byerly's, um, which is opening up a uh, grocery store here in uh, White Bear Lake in the fall of 2008. Yes. But Lund's and Byerly's uh, have been grocers throughout the uh, Twin Cities area for ex uh, extraordinary food, exceptional service, passionate expertise since 1939. So they'll be coming to uh, the White Bear Lake, White Bear Township area in the fall, but they've been around the metro, and I'm sure many of us have been in Lund's and Byerly's in various locations. Home delivery and store pickup. Yes. Online, you can order it online, go pick it up, they'll be ready for you, or they'll bring it to you to your home. You know, whatever way to get the food. I, the conveniences nowadays, right? I know. I'd rather go there and get a free sample myself, but, you know, <laughs> if they want to send it to my house. <laughs> you got to know what days they're giving those free samples, it's though, a, right? It's a, it's a different, uh, it's a, yeah. they have an option for everybody's lifestyle, which is what is important. Now, the next thing we have here is, what is, we've got flags coming up here. Yes, from well, we're all have to over. Check it looks this like. out here. Okay, we'll find out here in a minute. Yeah, we will. We will get there with that. Uh, it says Rachel Buchholz um, on the sign, but it's they're spinning the sign so fast. We'll find out soon uh, what it's all about here. But um, meanwhile, um, it does look like it's flags, and I do believe this is the Metro Grassroots Outreach Partnership. You found it. Um, yes, uh, Metro GOP, as they call themselves, and it salutes those who risk all with a display of the flags from those services. So here they are, it's uh, for the uh, the uh, the flags of the various uh, services, uh, um, military, uh, I'm assuming they're covering all, Coast Guard, Marine, Army, etc. And uh, this organization uh, has the display of proud to be American and shared Republican values, it looks like here. Um, but let's take a look at what else, and then I... Uh, as it gets closer to us. Yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, here it is. Uh -huh. Yes, there we've got it. Pursue your American dreams, support the Constitution and rule of law, honor those who serve. Okay. That's it. So, again, it's called Metro Grassroots Outreach Partnership. I love flags. 
Oh yes, it's um, and the proper displaying them is so important. Um, um, and the proper disposal, as yeah. I said earlier, yeah. taking my old flag, American flag, to the Boy Scouts for it to be disposed of properly and with dignity. Right. It's and very you know, important. And trying to make sure if you do have a flag 24 hours a day, you put a light on it uh, at night. Uh, yes. If you right. have the flag, show it, um, but respect it. R respect the way you are. Showing it to display it, not to use it for another purpose. Here we so. have White Bear Lake Teachers Association and oh, uh, yes. Teacher of the Year. Oh, there it is. Maggie Clark, the 2017 Teacher of the Year for the White Bear Lake Teachers Association. There's Maggie. Congratulations, Maggie. There you are, yes. It's, um, looks like she's trying to be, like most teachers, she's low profile. She's not standing up. <laughs> <laughs> waving. She's securely down in the vehicle. But it's nice to be low profile in a yeah. beautiful car like wa that. <laughs> wa exactly. Wanting to show safety to all the all the students. All the uh, students, right, exactly. I, I have noticed recently that when you see, meet a service person, you always say thank you for your service, right? Yeah. And they're in the military. I'm finding with teachers, if they say they're a teacher, we'll thank you for what you're doing for our children. Oh, gosh, yes. And we're doing this a lot. My, my, sis my baby sister's career for 30 years now, and uh, I just I admire it. It's Nobody knows how challenging it is, but how rewarding for the right personality. Here we have Sanibel Dance, dancers from Sanibel Dance Company, all in pink. Pretty in pink, I might Ooh, add, but yes. we have we have a boy in there, so oh, of course. and yep. he's in blue. <laughs> well, you know, he's an iconoclast wearing you know marching to go. his own drummer there in the blue. But, and to know uh, more about them, go to SantaBelDancers.com. Okay. It's wonderful, yes. Yeah, so. oh, now they're going to show us a little oh, bit yeah. of their stuff. Keeping it moving, keeping it moving there. I have a hard time standing still on this one. Yeah. Well, I have a hard time even trying to emulate uh, just the move in the arms, much less the rest of the body. It's so amazing and so impressive. Oh, the youthful this is good. energy. They're good. <laughs> Very impressive. And then we have next is uh, Techie Dudes coming up. Now, they're to solve your technical problems, either at home or a small business office. They do on-site diagnostics, carry and drop-off <laughs> service, data recovery, new computer setup, file transfer, network attached uh, storage set for home and office, small business assessment, Techie Dudes. My, uh, my family would find it so entertaining I read that since I don't know how to use an electric can opener or a remote control for a TV. And I had to explain to my grandchildren I do not know how to operate a DVD player. Oh, so they had to wait for Nana to get home. I love so much their... less thinking I would know <laughs> so how to actually you... operate a computer. Um, did you notice he's saying, he did. He was call? saying I could call and he <laughs> tried to teach me how to use the DVD player. I make um, house calls, he it's says. It's all way beyond me, way beyond me. I admire it and we definitely need it in our society. Okay, Techie now. dudes. Hold on to your hat. 2018 St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family is upon us. The St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family represents the St. Paul Winter Carnival Festival in the city of St. Paul, Minnesota, at festivals and community events across the state, country, and internationally. And this is the beginning of a lot of our Winter Carnival group here. Oh, yes. So I can talk winter in this lovely weather oh. and have a smile on my face. They do start winter very early with the winter carnival group, I must say. But you know what? They make winter fun. When they, the winter comes, the events that they put on make it fun. Exactly. It embraces the season. All that energy. Look at that, what we have here. Oh. We have, we have quite the group here with the winter carnival, and we have more coming up because we have... Um, the White Bear Winter Carnival Senior Royalty 2018, sponsored by the Senior Royalty alum, the SRAA, as they call themselves, Senior Royalty. 60 years and of festivities, the White Bear Carnival. That's a beautiful float. Yep, so we have the, um, the Carnival Seniors. We have Roger Schwinghammer, Christina Saracides, Shirley Mulkins, Linda Jones, Judy Holmquist. These are the various princesses of the group. So here we have, there's Roger. Uh, let me get their titles right. I want to make sure. Okay. We've got to get St. Paul Winter Carnival. Royalty. I see they're holding Visiting King Winter, Roger Swinghammer. 
the 2011 King Winter, the 53rd. Uh, then we have uh, Christina Cerides, Queen of the Northlands. Um, Shirley Melkin, uh, Melkin's Prime Minister, Linda Jones, Lady in Waiting, Judy Holmquist, Princess of the Four Winds. I had to get the right title with the right person. And you did well. Notice Ooh. they're carrying bears. Of course. Many of them are white. For white the White Bears, Bear Lake yeah. Grand Parade, right? Exactly. See, they, they, they get local for <laughs> us Okay, here. get ready. Here is oh, the yes. Royal Order of Klondike Cakes. All right. <laughs> from the St. Paul Winter Carnival, the coolest celebration on earth. They said, came down from the Klondike to spread merriment and song to the good people of Minnesota. Please welcome Klondike Cake 2018, Natalia Hemingway. I'll be waiting up for Oh, they have a good sound. Yeah. That group is so fun. I happened to be last, a couple of years ago, at yeah. the uh, Country Inn, oh, yes? where there was a big gathering, and uh, oh, the yeah. Klondike cakes were there. And there was not, there was a lot of laughter. Let's just put it that way. It is. I mean, there's <laughs> no subtlety. And here, another part of we uh, the, the great Winter Carnival tradition, the Order of the Royal Guard. Now, see, they protect King Boreas and his royal family and have been protecting them since 1916. Uh -huh. I think they've had new members since then, uh, but that truck's getting pretty close <laughs> to 1916. <laughs> you can like them on Facebook, and you can contact them at royalguards.org. So again, the Royal Guards uh, protecting uh, King Boreas, and I think he's been pretty safe for over, you know, 102 years. So I guess they've done their job. So the Vulcans are the ones that protect King Boreas. That's theoretically the job description. They I do see. a few other things. Um, yes, yes. Well, at least that's the Royal Guard. The Vulcans tend to do other things. <laughs> so you may want to describe what the Vulcans do. But here they are, the 2018 group. They supported volunteered in St. Paul's running communities for nearly 80 years. So let's hail the Volks. Well, they add a lot of fun to it. There's no doubt about it. And then, you know, it's an honor to have that smudge yeah. that they do offer. Okay. And the Winter Carnival West Wind Organization. Now, again, we've got all these different traditions. You're an expert on the Cates. I'm an expert on none of it, but I, I'm trying to get this right. <laughs> is the West or the Zephyrs are one of the three brothers of King Boreas Rex. And as the king of the winds, Boreas assigned each of his brothers a permanent grant of great force and power. So to Zephyrs, he was given custody of the bountiful West Wind. So here is the West Wind Organization. Now, you said you didn't know anything about it. Well, I was just trying to look at my notes here no, okay. and trying to learn while I'm going along. Um, they do make us sound educated, don't uh, they? They do, yes. Um, yes. Um, now, here we have a Minnesota Central school bus. Now, I bring this up right now because Matabati school bus drivers are needed in Matamidai. Did you get that? Yeah. And it's a great pay, and it's a fun place to work. I had an aunt who was a school bus driver, and she loved the children, and they loved her. I also had a friend who was a cool school bus driver. Same thing. Yeah. She loved the kids, and she thought of them as her own. And, and uh, when they were sick, she got in touch with them. Uh, she, she knew them very well. So keep that in mind. School bus drivers are needed, and especially in Matamidai. But maybe in your community, you'd like to look into that. And they do charter buses to events, so around your schedule, don't feel as locked in. Check in with them. They'll do the training. You'll get your license. Um, you'll see how it fits in your schedule. But it could be an option uh, for employment you may never have thought of. But I remember in grade school, one of our bus drivers, Melvin House, we were all convinced he was a former race car driver before he got a job <laughs> in Moorhead, Minnesota, driving that, which he thought was funny, but our parents did not think was funny when we told them that Melvin House was a former race car driver. <laughs> we were all convinced it was true. One person starts a rumor, and in grade school, you know how that goes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's interesting, on the side of the bus here, it's saying that you can charter the buses, and they give the various occasions that you can charter this bus, bachelor, bachelorette parties, sporting events, church groups, pub crawls, civic organization, birthday parties. So uh, you can charter one of these yellow buses, I guess. I never knew that before. Yeah, it's um, and that's another way that if you're a part-time driver, you can see how the schedule might work for you. Now mm -hmm. we have the, uh, oh, here is the uh, the, the wake group, the uh, the Quell Wake, if I remember correctly. Swell Wake Swell Surf. Wake, that's mm -hmm. it, the Swell Wake Surf group. 
And, Say that uh, ten times fast. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm not, and you know, and I don't even drink. So just imagine <laughs> um, what it would be. But yes, the Swell Wake Surf, um, and uh, you can see that they are just ready to hit the water and uh, get going with their group. Looks like they're um, uh, got you know um, the appropriate. Uh, how should I put it? Pails of candy would be the technical term. There you that. go. That's very technical. Um, yes. But see, it's uh, so the swell wake surf. Now, you know, are you surfing or are you in the wake? You know, <laughs> that's the challenge. <laughs> gotcha. So there they are. <laughs> Showing off. But you can see, see, see the decorations on the top of the boat there, the various types of uh, surf uh, boards, play boards, the equipment, all the different options for how you can enjoy the water in an area like this where many of us live within a mile of five lakes. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have White Bear Lake Superstore GMC. Yep, the, um, they are there, uh, a great uh, local business I have uh, I have purchased a number of uh, vehicles and spent a lot of time uh, uh, there they're a fine uh, fine local business here at uh, down there on Cedar Avenue and Highway 61 they are the Buick and GMC dealer in the area so again I'll bring up David Dunbar Buick and on uh, the back there it says uh, follow us to the beach dance because I do believe they are helping to sponsor the uh, the beach dance uh, and, and, and it says, follow it. us to the beach dance with the Wildcat Combo, hosted by Explore White Bear, White Bear Rotary Club, and White Bear Superstore. Yep, that's so so. There's, the events go on here in White Bear Lake. And that's all part of Explore White Bear, um, which uh, there's many things to explore in White Bear. So you always mean to come downtown or come to the various um, places. Well, there's a lot of options. And here's another one of our famous local um, entities here. Lakes International Language Academy. It's uh, it's the marching band. First season as a marching band. They are now kicking into action. They're just getting going. Gaga Saga, taking popular music hits of Lady Gaga to the streets is the theme for the newly formed Lakes International Language Academy marching band. And they're being very quiet at the moment. Oh, and yes. I hope they're getting ready I to do some of that Gaga music. Yeah. But I don't know yet. It doesn't look like they're pulling up their instruments just yet. There we go. Uh, I think this is going to be the sign. You can see sure it in their eyes. We want to listen to this. Yes. Gaga Saga. Let's listen. to end our parade today. We're so glad that you could join us. 
So on behalf of Whiteberry Events, we hope you enjoyed the 2018 Manitou Days Grand Parade. And we wish to acknowledge the following businesses who provided both financial and in-kind support to the Manitou Days Grand Parade. Parade sponsors are Garlock French Corporation, White Bear Lake Lions Club. And the marching band sponsors were the Downtown White Bear Lake Main Street Inc., Grandma Bake, Grandma's Bakery, and the Urgency Room. Parade contributors are the Boy Scout Troop 434, Johnson Peterson Funeral Home, Paul the Plumber, I love that, Suburban Community Channels, the UPS Store, and Trade Press. But also, uh, we had Bill Weigel Signs, City of White Bear Lake, White Bear Chamber of Commerce, White Bear Lake Public Works, White Bear Lake Police and Reserves. But last, but not least, a big thank you to our parade volunteers, yes. including the co-chairs, Ken Peterson and Paul Carlson, who've done so much to make this happen. I think we had another great parade, we folks. We did it. We did it. We did it. I'm Joyce Harley, along with J.P. Baroni. And join us again for the White Bear Lake Manitou Days Parade. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Take care.